So Gene Corp is not quite at its end. I don't think that's quite the right word for it, but we are trying to wrap things up here now. There is very little actually else to see more than what we've done right now. We've, we've basically ticked all the boxes. We've got ourselves the Deathbot army. I mean, realistically, it would be kind of fun to go out and destroy every single settlement, but it would also take a very, very long time of just going between settlement to settlement, wiping them out. So what I want to do is one thing I've actually never done in RimWorld before, and that's take the spaceship off of the planet. I've never done that victory condition. I, I've built my own spaceship, so generally I don't even just bother with it, you know, I just generally play Rimmod until I get bored of it, but actually taking the landed ship is something I've never done before. I've heard it's fairly difficult, um, but obviously with what we've got right now, with Donitz and Igor, who will be the people taking the ship and leaving the planet, leaving everyone else behind to run Gene Corp in their absence, um, and, and the death bots, it might be fairly easy, but it, again, it's something I've never done that, so I want to test that one out as well. Um, how long will that journey take? That's the real question. How long will it take Donitz and Eagle to get to the, uh, so where's, where's our settlements? This one here, isn't it? Right, so form caravan. Let's assume we're taking our boys, uh, Donitz, Don, Donitz, well, there's Eagle, and Donitz. Right. Okay, so we'll take those, and then they're also gonna take, um, two, we'll, we'll say that they take two of the, um, the monsters as well. Um, monsters. Our, our glorious crossbred creatures there. So it's gonna take 21 tiles a day. Um, that's pretty damn fast, isn't it? We've also apparently got an aero fleet? Where the hell do we get an aero fleet from? Right, uh, what is this one here? Nutrition eaten per day? Well, they apparently don't even need nutrition because they are robots, which is pretty great. Um, so choose route. Let's say we want them to go all the way to the landed ship. Boom. That's gonna take 16 days. I might send them off now. I actually might, all, like, send them and get ready for our big expedition over there. Um, what are they going to need before we leave? Well, I think we want to fully upgrade them as much as possible before we actually send them off. So that, obviously, that way they'll use less food, they'll have to rest less, they'll be, you know, robotic, so less susceptible to dying. Um, Donitz, I'm pretty sure, is already at that stage where he's an immortal, uh, godlike being. Anyway, look at his fucking stats, holy shit. Um, let's go to his health. So he's got advanced bionic everything. In fact, he's got the advanced bionic, advanced, advanced bionic organs there. Igor has everything as well besides the Orion exoskeleton, which takes the torso area. We could go and raid Orion Corp for their exoskeletons, their technology. That actually might not be a bad idea at all to go and do that. That is a good plan. I think we send Donitz on a... Why don't we send Donitz and just all the fucking animals and just send them to go and kill... Kill the Orion Corp. That would be very, very cool. Alright, so, um, we can basically give all the Mecha Spiders to Donitz. Oh, wait, he, he has one animal skill? Is there any way to increase that at all? Ah, uh, I don't think there is. Not with one skill. Ah, oh, Jesus, okay. Um, we could send Alchemia then to go and get some bodies. He's got the animal skill necessary, plus, you know, has control of all the animals right now, so it wouldn't matter too much. Um, we don't particularly want the Mecha Lope to go. So, let's follow the master where the master's drafted. Yeah, no, we don't want the mecha lope, we don't want the mecha wolf, we don't want the mecha bear. Just take the mecha spiders, um, because those things we can clone instantly. The Cthrombo is not grown yet, which is exactly why we wanted the age pills. It turns out the spiders are born fully grown. They are robots, so that kind of makes sense. Um, we want to take the Cthrombo or the Diplo beetle, mainly because those will be kind of a pain in the ass to manage. Um, Mecha Muffalo also has no good combat. So, we'll finish off the training on, um, Bonero the mecha spider here. And then we'll send Alchemia out to an Orion Corp base to go and grab some of their spines, bring them back, get Eagle fully upgraded, and then I think we'll send them on their big Expedus. Ex Expedus? I was going to say Exodus and Expedition, but now it's an Expedus to the uh, landed spaceship so I can actually see what that ending's about, because like I said, I've never seen that before in RimWorld, so it'd be kind of something new and interesting. Now, a couple of things to do today. Uh, first things first, Anton's son is about to be born. Uh, our first sort of success, well, our second, I guess, successfully cloned human there. But the first without me really paying any attention to it at all, which is quite impressive. So she is 98% grown. I don't think we'll actually need to uh, maintain the vat anymore there. I think she's going to be grown in no time. The other thing I want to do is finally try and get that thrombo mechanoid combo. Because that's one thing that we've actually never... Ruined by temperature. Ru ruined by temperature. <sighs> Alright, well, I'm glad I only made one of those rather than three of them. This is one thing we've never successfully been able to build. Man, I forgot how just goddamn cold this base is all the time. It's one thing we've never been able to build, because the last time, the last two times we did it, we ended up with aberrant flesh beasts. In fact, we've ended up with three aberrant flesh, ble flesh beasts, according to, uh, according to whatever the hell's in the freezer there. So, we'll try and clone ourselves a couple of those and just hopefully, you know, maybe we'll get lucky with it. Um, what the hell can I do with that then, now that it's ruined? Um... Unwanted incubator, I guess it would be that then. So we'll just go ahead and um, pulp that one down. What a waste of time, eh? What an absolute waste of thrombo DNA. Holy shit. 
Can't believe we didn't clone any before, and that's my own fault. They, they broke them down before I had a chance to, uh, to sequence the genomes there. Alright, so those aren't going to take very long at all. How is Antonson not born? Ah, 100%. Here we go. So Antonson is going to be renamed to uh, the final name on the list. The only name that we didn't actually get to use this entire series whenever you're going to be born. Jesus, it takes a long time, doesn't it? Oh, she, got, she grew some hair. Is that the final? Ah, there we go. The final step. Antonson is back. Um, or as she is known, Zoe Foxley. Just a, just a clone of Antonson there. Um, wow, that's pretty cool. Put on some clothes. Good for you. Right, you are going to get renamed then to something far better. Like I said, the only name that we actually didn't get done on the list then, so it's kind of kind of a nice coincidence. We have uh, Vrico. Perfect. Vrico Lee. Welcome. No skills, obviously, but capped the uh, the construction and the cooking with a high passion there. So going to be a good character, hopefully, eventually. Um, with enough time. Now, the only other thing is obviously building the plasma fusion reactor. That's still going to take fucking ages. We've built a single magnetic curl since yesterday. So this is going to take a really, really long time. In fact, I wouldn't even imagine this is going to be finished by the time um, Igor and Donitz get to the landed spaceship. So don't get your hopes up, really. So we want to send Igor and Donitz out into the world to go and craft... Oh, there's another one being built. Holy shit. We want to obviously send Igor and Donitz out to go and found a second Gene Corp. You know, Gene Corp, um, Rimworld, what was it called? It says the, there's like the, the Outer Rim, there's the Glitter World in there. So we'll find like a Glitter World branch of, uh, of Gene Corp. Now, what have we got left then? So we've got, so that we've used our two thrombo genes. We've got Boomalope, we've got Bear, Rodent, Chicken, um, and then of course we've got lots of mechanoid active components. What do we make some more mechanoid crossbreeds? Because there are some animals we've just not seen. Um, and anything mechanoid is good because they generally produce things as well. So we've got a mecha wolf, we've got a mecha thrombo being built. We haven't got a mecha rodent, have we? Um, is that what spawned the deer? Oh, no, 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 that was the, 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 the boomalope is the deer looking one. Right, so we go for mechanoid rodent, we go for mechanoid reptile, though I have a feeling we've done that one as well. We'll wait and see. Obviously, we've got the muffalo, we've got the insectoid, we haven't got muffalo chicken, that sounds pretty good, and we've got the mechanoid bear. Um, so we'll go for all of those and see how that ends up. I want the chicken to take top priority because a mecha chicken sounds incredible to me. And we'll see how those come out. As with the Eldritch Dream Pod, have we got anything else that requires, um, or that we could crossbreed out of that? We've made... Let's take a look here. So Eldritch Wolf we haven't got. Eldritch Reptile, I don't think we've got that one either. Eldritch Muffalo sounds horrible, I like it. Um, insect, we do have the Eldritch Insect. That's the, um... Wait, do we have an Eldritch Insect? Is that not the Cth No, that's not going to be the Cthrombo. That would clearly be the... Maybe we don't have that. Oh, well, I'll make another one anyway. Eldritch Chicken also sounds incredible. Eldritch Boomalope also sounds... Uh, we want all of these, right? Um, I'm going to go for the, the Dinosaur Pod and actually just make every single one of these as well. Now, the other one, there was there was another method of getting the Mecha Fauna, wasn't there? There was something I missed. Was it Animal uh, Enrichment? Yeah, that's the only one we're missing. What the hell is that? Animal animal Enrichment. Right, so we do have that now. So that should allow us to build um, Alpha Serum Extraction Table, which in turn allows us to make the Mega Fauna um, crossbred creatures. So this is going to be kind of interesting. And then I also want to do the dinosaur ones as well. I want to see one of each, you know, see what we're really dealing with here. Let's go genetics. Um, alpha serum extraction table. There we go. That's what we're missing. That looks cool. All right, let's get ourselves... Um, I'll just put down one. I don't think we need to. And we'll build another copy of that as well. We might have to go out and actually hunt down some creatures then. Let's grab some, uh, grab some DNA from there. Thank you, Omnibot. You ridiculously OP thing. I saw uh, the, the comment trying to defend the Omnibots a little bit, saying how expensive they are and how because we skipped it with the, um, with the tech prof sub persona cores that it didn't seem that expensive. Even so... What, what I meant by that was was the, the time investment I'm not really including in the whole uh, cost calculation, seeing as um, you could, in theory, play on the easiest mode and never have to worry about time because obviously that won't be a threat. But in terms of actual raw resource it takes to build these things, like for an Omnibot, I would imagine at least an AI Persona Core or something because they are very, very powerful things, right? So, uh, excuse me, Ostrich. Oh, wow, okay. Um, I guess I'll pick one of each. Just do it one time of everything. And we'll see what we end up with here. What I kind of want to do is stop putting corpses into the freezer. Um, because they're obviously going to be immediately butchered by the uh, butcher tables. What, what radius do we have on those? 28. So I might even forbid corpses being put in here. Live entirely on lentils. Seeing as we've got shit ton of lentils anyway, right? So that's plenty of meals. Um, live entirely on lentils. And see how we go just by, you know, hunting things. So let's find out what's on the map and just set a bulk order, I guess. Man. Well, I really should have thought about not playing in a permanent winter map, because we're limited in what we can get here. Right, so go and hunt basically all of these things. Um, mega Sloth. Oh, shit, there's a Mega Sloth on the map somewhere. That's cool. Hey, there is. Uh, Donitz, do you want to come and deal with this one for me? Because that one we we haven't, you know, 
and we haven't had any experience with these things whatsoever. So this might have some some interesting new hybrids. Nice. <laughs> right. Okay. There we go. Done. All right, and we'll wait for the others to be hunted over time. Um, I don't know if we actually do have a build set for hunters, though, do we? Um, just, just on it. Honestly, I think that's probably a good thing, seeing as I don't really trust anyone else not to get themselves killed in the process. Right, okay, so how are we looking over here, then? We're having some of the uh, horrible crossbred creatures. So we've got 54% on the thrombo. We've got Mechanoid Chicken, Mechanoid Rovent, Mechanoid Reptilian, Eldritch Wolf, Eldritch Muffalo. Man, this is going to be so cool when it's done. I didn't realize we had quite this much stuff kicking around, eh? Um, Eldritch Insectoid. There's a giant dinosaur um, for your viewing pleasure. Can we not also break down some of these other things as well? Uh, what have we got? What do these count as? Can we do anything with the Flesh Beasts? Dead Body of an Aberrant Flesh Beast. I assume they just... Uh, we can pulp them down and that's basically it. So we won't worry about it too much. My god, Donitz. The Murderer. Black... Yeah, okay, thank you. Right, back back grown clone. We know all about that. So we've got some unfinished components here kicking around. And then, get, then we're just waiting on the advanced components on the um, the magnetic coils, I should say. And then we're more or less done. So what are we looking at right now, then? 13 out of 48. That's going to take a very long time, isn't it? Oh, God. Well, I mean, this might be a really good way to test our mecha spider. See how um, volatile and how powerful they actually are. Maybe we should send Alchemia to go and attack the ship then, eh? That might be a better plan. Um, Alchemia, where are you? Uh, should we wait? We'll wait until the daytime, because I don't want to interrupt their sleep. You know, it's just a psychic ship. We dealt with so many of them beforehand. Right. It's going to be kind of a mess, though, if it does go... What the fuck happened there? If this does go badly? Is that where it's crash-landed? I can only assume so. All right. Um, 20... Oh, should I just go for it? I mean, he's already fully rested. I was waiting for Donitz to get fully rested, but he's already at 95%. It's barely been 30 seconds here. Right. Let's wake it up. Night, Nightly hunting Dave. You know what? Honestly, in some ways, I think you probably helped the colony by hunting Dave down. Get him, Nick. Nice. A savior. Nightling. What, what the hell is a nightling? Is this a space game or is this... This has got to be like the alpha animals or something, right? I can't say I've ever seen one before. Donit. Good luck, my friend. Why do I have a feeling this is going to be a mistake? Turn the speed right, right down. Um... <laughs> uh... Book it? Like, I think we're actually just gonna have to run. Because this is uh this is pretty ridiculous, eh? Get out of there, Donitz. Donitz, I need you to run! <gasps> Holy shit, he's actually almost dead instantly. Run, Donitz. Holy shit, he almost died instantly then. That was insane. Right, keep running, keep running. Never stop, never stop, never stop. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Lawn through the kill box. Um, are they still after us? Holy shit. Oh, and they've got mammoths there as well. Those centipedes. I thought we were going to... Wait, what about the the, the creatures? Uh, are the thrombos ready? 99%. Here we go. Come on, please please work. Please work. No aberrant flesh beast. Come on. Come on, let's see it. I don't, I don't want to look away because I feel like we're going to miss it hatching. This this creature that has taken me apparently ages to try and actually unlock. <gasps> Holy shit, look at that thing. Mecha Thrombo 1. And it makes industrial components as well, which is obviously incredible. This thing's going to be ridiculously powerful, isn't it? Um, as long as the tamer is near to direct it, the Mecha Thrombo is like a mortar turret. Armed with self-replenishing miniature anti-grain warheads. This is so endgame. Like all Mechanoid hybrid it produces industrial components. My god. Um, melee DPS, though, only 11.27 compared to our Thrombo, which is just disgustingly powerful. What was that? 11.27. Um, this, by comparison... Uh, 18.52. Yeah, pretty goddamn ridiculous. Shit, that thing's cool, though. It's very, very cool. I'm not sure if it's going to be a, a bulk part of our army, but that is pretty absurd either way. Right, come down through the kill box. Are they still, they're still after us? Okay, here we go, team. Everybody, you're going to have to wake up. Uh, draft, get behind here. Right, so even our colonists... Oh, God, the, the Omnibot. Oh, Jesus. Even the colonists incapable of violent are going to be able to... You know, man, these turrets actually help out for once in their goddamn life. In fact, we'll get you on that one to start off with. Shit, right. Oh, they're still heading over. This is good. I thought that we didn't do enough damage to the ship to have them all over here, but this is pretty great. Right, Dave, get on a... Incapable of Violent. Right, go and hide, for fuck's sake. Who else we got? Quell Ashley. I keep forgetting I keep forgetting and leaving them on turrets. You guys have commented on this before, but that, that's just uh, something that I keep forgetting to do personally. Right, Chode Smirtly, get on there. Tay AI is also incapable of violence. So you go hide away. Dobson, no, Alchemia... Take the center, because you're the one with all the goddamn animals, so we want to be careful of that. Donitz, you need to go and get yourself patched up, like, instantly. Um, 
Yeah, go get, go get yourself patched up before you die. Um, why, why can we not prioritize tending to Donuts, though? Hang on, let's, let's wait for him to get to bed, and then I'll, I'll deal with everything else in a second. Right. Right, prioritize tending to Donuts. There we go. Okay, get yourself back to back to full health. Dobson down here. Um, Mason down here. Jesus, this is going to be an absolute mess, isn't it? Is it worth putting one of these boys on the other rocket complex? There we go. Okay. Uh, try and avoid hitting any of these creatures. Sidini, run. Oh, God. He almost got grabbed then. They are coming down through the kill box, though. This is pretty great. Um, are you all right? Are you incapable of violent, or are you another one that can... Because if we've got you... We don't need you please on the complex if, if he is actually capable of... Um, of violence, so we'll put you on that one as, instead. You're not going to die anytime soon, are you? No, it's just a crack. We should be fine. All right, here we go. Mechanoid raid of the year. This is probably the biggest mechanoid raid I think we've ever had. Um, the fact they almost instantly killed Donuts is a bit worrying. Right. So in theory, we can release the animals, then mind control them, and they should be capable of combat. Um. No, still not. Okay, right. So, I don't know what the whole controlling... I don't see the point of controlling the animals then, seeing as it seems to do nothing for us, to be honest with you. We won't worry about it too much. Um, release the animals. Oh, God. Uh, you know what? Call the animals back. Let's wait until they get a little bit closer. I don't want this uh, killbots to take them out. Hey, stop it. Come back. To be fair, we can do that with them. We could get them into position and then... Uh, and then release them, you know? All right. Let's have you boys just sort of... Um, see, get, get them lined up in the doorway. Preferably not so they're going to get caught in the crossfire. Oh, shit, they're backing off. Don't do that. Hang on. Um, right. Who's sacrificial? Uh, Igor. Igor Farouk, you've died once. I'm sure you don't mind dying a second time. Right, we need to go and aggro them again because the, the kill box was too long for them to uh, rem remain aggroed through. There we go. All right. Try again. Oh, they are they are turning back around. That's good. Igor, go through the door. Shit, we need, to, we need to cut down that tree there. All right. We're good? There we go. Right, now we might need someone to send someone actually into the kill box to keep them aggroed, but we should be alright besides that. Um, is he going to attack the door, seriously? Oh, shit. Don't do that. Okay, there we go. Right. Just got to draw these first, boys. Oh, eagle! <laughs> I don't really know what I expected. Titanium blast turrets, I never even thought about that. And obviously the rocket complex as well. Well... Generation one, Igor is dead. On to generation two. Jesus Christ! Well, we got the resurrector, mate. We don't need to do. We don't need to go that far. We can just resurrect her immediately. Donuts is going to be pretty, pretty fucking annoyed, eh? Um, did you heal yourself up? Oh, he's just still that damage. Good God! All right, <sighs> Igor is dead again. Classic Igor. This is almost identical to how she died the first time in the first series, right? Massive raid, friendly fire with a rocket launcher. Unbelievable. All right. Oh, good God! Don't destroy the body. Holy shit! Do not destroy the body. Um, Donnit, you have a mission. If you choose to accept it, very straightforward. Grab Eagle. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is going to be so close. She's gone. <laughs> okay, I don't mind too much. We've still got a genetic template, so it doesn't matter too much. We'll just grow a new Eagle. Grow a new Eagle with black... Oh, God, get out of there. Get out of there. With Blackjack and Hookers. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Donnit, you are too ill to be in this combat scenario. Right, go and heal yourself up. Man, these titanium turrets, though. Oh my god, the fucking blast turrets are destroying our own things. This is ridiculous. These these things are useless. The rocket complex are great, though. Don't get me wrong. These things, though, are... Uh, might be slightly overkill. Might be overkill. Holy shit. I mean, are they even going to get close? Do I even need to watch this? Because they, they seem to be doing a pretty goddamn good job. The mech spiders are doing things as well. They are firing occasionally. Man, what a state. Now, this is going to be the real test. The mammoths... Oh, wow. Okay, fair enough. I was going to say the mammoths have quite a ridiculous amount of health. They could take a lot of hits from what we've seen before when Donnit's fought a mammoth. Um, or not. Or it'll just die. The downside to what we've got going on right now is the mechanoid corpses are being destroyed by the explosions, just like poor Igor was. Um, case in point there, the mammoth is now gone. So maybe less rocket complexes in the future? Um, maybe even completely get rid of all of them and just replace some of the regular gun complexes. Get rid of these blast turrets and just put some more shredder turrets down. Um, please don't destroy it. Oh, Jesus, the walls. Uh, Major Brett, who? Quite largely? Oh, just, get, just go home. Honestly, get out of here. No, 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 Get out of here. Right, there we go. Okay, we're fine. Oh, man. This is uh, this has been a little ridiculous. Eh? I'm kind of happy to uh, skip past this now because I'm pretty sure we've got this one in the bag, team. Um... Well, the centipede put up a little bit of combat, but um, a little bit disappointing overall. 
Not, not entirely impressed about that. Alright, well, and the best part is, that with the centipedes, we've actually managed to keep some of their bodies as well, so we've got some more for research. Right, let's check our horrible monstrosities and see if anything else has grown. So we've got, oh man, we've got two mecha thrombos. Start stampede? Oh, that sounds cool. Um, gets the creature tired after a while, but they can just stomp the feet and uh, kick up a dust cloud. Sort of like, um, I guess a smoke pot belt, belt or something like that. Oh, cool. Okay, so, so both of them are actually a success this time. So we'll keep an eye on the other ones as well, and then we'll just, uh, just wait for these things. We're gonna have a lot of Eldritch monsters, eh? I mean, I'm, I'm personally interested in the chickens. Um, the Eldritch chicken incubator, and we've also got a mechanoid chicken one there that's almost, almost hatched. 99%, here we go. Boom. An incubator is hatched. Mecha chicken. Um... I don't really know what I expected. Oh, Jesus. That, is that supposed to be a chicken? That's horrifying. Kind of nice, though. Um, they do produce eggs. Oh, they actually just do produce eggs? That's, that's absurd. I didn't notice this one, but we've also got ourselves a mecha rat as well, which don't seem to do anything. Start borrowing? Uh, tend to borrow by making it very resistant to damage for a while. What does this thing do? Just produce industrial components, I assume. Um, yeah, no, that really doesn't do much. The, what, what about its DPS? Its DPS is goddamn terrible. Um... It's got some range damage, though. All, all the mecha spiders do. Um, all, the, all the mecha creatures do. Oh, the aberrant flesh beast was born out of what exactly? I have no idea. We'll, we'll, we'll see which one we're missing, and then we'll try and uh, we'll, we'll flush this thing out of the airlock. We have a wolf... Oh, a wolf sothoth? Okay, that's pretty cool. Invoke insanity. Um, invoke the insanity of that which man is not meant to know. Uh, and we can also do an adrenaline burst as well. Really? That sounds kind of cool. Uh, I did press... Oh, God. Uh, abilities recharging. I guess that's what that- Oh, god, god, what the fuck is that thing? That is horrible. Star Vampire Muffalo. This hybrid is carrying more weight than usual due to the influence of an animal control hub. Oh, it gives some buffs as well. My god, what is that disgusting thing? A blind Muffalo can detect its prey by scent and attracted to animal and human blood. Uh, it can also consume vegetals, which is good to know. Um, decent pack beast produces milk and wool. Purple milk and wool. Okay, interesting. Um, Star Vampire Leather. Wow. That's a, that's a creepy creature. I'm not a big fan of that one. Alright, so what have we got next then? Probably the insectoid is going to be grown. Then we've got the boomalope, and then the, the eldritch chicken as well. Classic. Oh, that right, it's the Chthonian larvae. Yeah, of course, we've already done that one before. Goodbye. Alright, what's next? We've got ourselves the chicken of Migo. Oh, shit, that thing is so cool. Look at that. And I assume this is just another one that lays eggs, maybe? Um, an unholy amalgamation of fungus, crustacean, insect, and chicken lays purple eggs that erode your sanity. What's not to love? Um, everything about that. Thank you for asking. Right, and then we've got ourselves the Eldritch Boomalope and an Eldritch Bear as well. Pretty sure we already have an Eldritch Bear, don't we? Maybe it's just a Mecha Bear. My god, there's so much to repair. We need we need some Beta Poly for these walls. Like, this, this kill box cannot take the brunt of all of these um, ridiculous things we've got built here. Now, I think the Titanium Blast Turrets can go. Turns out those things were absolutely shitting useless. I might also get rid of a couple of these, if not all of them. Mainly because they're, you know, when we're in a desperate situation trying to get bodies and genetic material, blowing them all up is probably not helping out at all. Seriously, Joe Smirtley? Seriously? This, this is what we've come to? How did you die? Uh, log? Shredded in the... T the blast turrets charged mercilessly annihilated Joe Smirtley's torso? Friendly fire again? <laughs> For fuck's sake. Killed by a shredder turret, basically, because this wildling... Probably ran on the Nightling, so ran all the way through the base here and uh, bit at Chode Smirtley. The turrets aimed in on it and then annihilated him. Well, guess what? Congratulations, you've become the number one recipient of uh, the Resurrect Mech Serum. Right, how do we use it then? I assume we just. Uh, uh, how do we do it? We just we just use Resurrect Mech on Chode Smirt. Alright, there we go. Donis is going to bring him back to life. Boom, welcome back. Um, we're gonna have to obviously, you know, heal him up for a couple of days because the whole resurrection thing's probably not helping out too much. How long does that last out of interest? Um, resurrection sickness. He's on life support as well, so he's not at any risk here. We need to turn all the robots back on as well. I completely forgot about that. Activate all. There we go. Boom. Alright, Colony's back functioning. Um, I should probably stop them from disassembling mechanoids. Uh, completely forgot about that one, eh? I don't think we've even got any mechanoids left now. Fuck's sake. Grantly Grimble is on an insulting spree. Classic Grantly Grimble. This is, this is getting out of hand. This is kind of getting out of hand. Holy shit. Look at how many horrible crossbred creatures we've got these days. That thing is my particular... Um, what's the opposite of a particular favourite? That thing I hate the most. The Star Vampire Muffalo. Not a big fan of those things. The Formless Boomalope of Tsu... Thogua. Classic, of course. Um... Wow, and then we've also got ourselves uh, a bear young, which I assume is like a dark uh, dark young, but, uh, oh Jesus, that thing's also horrible. 
Wow. Actually terrible. Um, it could do a rage attack, though, which could be useful. Some of these abilities might determine whether or not they, they come in more useful than, uh, than their stats would suggest. Man. Um, kind of a mess, eh? Like an absolute giant mess with this. We should clear out uh, this aberrant flesh beast. This needs to die as soon as possible. Otherwise, it's just going to keep our robots busy uh, cleaning up its shit constantly. So let's get our animals into the animal zone to get them out of the labs a little bit. Um, might have manually send someone in after it, unfortunately. Donitz, how healed are you right now? Um, 37%? Jesus, they really did a number on the poor guy, didn't they? Right, let's put this put this flesh beast down. Couple of shots. Couple of shots. There we go, right, he's done. Um, go ahead and finish off that aberrant flesh beast. Boom. Alright, problem solved. That's going to stop the robots constantly cleaning up the, the horrible fleshy goop that it leaves behind. Man, um, real sad about Eagle, but it's nothing we can't just throw into... Wait, what? Sorry? M Melissa? Mecca's... Cthrombo? Where's the... Through? F's in the chat, please. I think we might have permanently lost a Throog here today. Oh, God. Really? Hmm. Let me... Let me... Let me it might just be an issue with the stockpiles. Let's tidy this up and see if we can't spot the, the body lying underneath all these dinosaurs or something. Um... This is not... Oh, we do have some... Uh, that's Okay, that's pretty good. We do have plenty of mechanoids left then. Thank God for that. Um, oh my God, we got Rat Alpha. Melissa. Mecha Spider. Mecha Spider. Cthrombo. Jenny Antonson. What happened to the Throog template? Has it been stolen? Wow. I'm, I'm genuinely quite annoyed by that. Alright, so we've got ourselves a... So, sorry? A Great Devourer. Do I want to buy a Great Devourer? Um, yes. Absolutely I do. Thank you for the offer. It's 400... I'll oh, take two. What the f... What do you mean a Great Devourer? We could just clone a whole army of those. That sounds pretty great. Um, no pun intended. So, what have we got going for us with this guy? Um, you don't have to sell an Eagle through genetic template, do you? What do you mean, no? Um, we want to buy basically any... Oh, thank God for that. I was going to say any Beta or Alpha... Sir? Uh, Polly? Ooh, that's expensive. Okay. Um, not a big deal, but that's it's, that's fine. That's all right. We'll manage. Um, right. Let's sell you guys basically all of the organs because we really don't want any fucking organs, right? Get out of here with this shit. Um, oh, wow. Those are expensive. All right. Uh, 27,000. Well, I mean, we can go minus 4K and still be okay. So we're going to buy the beta poly and alpha poly statues. That will allow us to in turn start building up our uh, reactor because we do need 24 and 8 alpha and beta poly respectively there. Um, hello. What, what are you? Um, apparently it's working on egg progress there. That's, that's fine. Uh, what the fuck is that thing? Welcome aboard. Why not? Uh, <laughs> I feel like we need a whole other base just for animals at this stage, right? Okay, let's get this thing set up. Um, put it, put it here. That's fine. We can look at the ceiling of the base. So these things we actually want to, uh, disassemble as soon as possible. The Alpha and Beta Poly things. That's why I bought them. There was also a pharmaceutical trader. I probably should have checked what they've got. Uh, just in case they've got any of the really, really high-level implants here. Um, oh, they've gone. Well, that's fine. Oh, this is alright. I wasn't, wasn't bothered by like that or anything. It's not like, not like I wanted those things. That's alright. Okay, so let's bring these into base and let's disassemble them as soon as possible because those things are going to massively ramp up our wealth. Um, bear in mind, that was another, what, 40, 40,000 silver? I suppose it was a direct trade, one-to-one. -one. Um, we, we actually probably lost some silver because obviously the market value, they weren't giving us market value for um, what the organs were worth. So I guess we probably made some... Uh, made some I was going to say, made some losses there, because it is a good thing, because we're not going to be hit by such good raids, but that doesn't really make much sense. Right, get rid of this one. Um, why have we not got... Where's the Alpha Poly one? Is it still being hauled over? There it is, right. Alpha... Oh, but it's a chicken, though. Alpha Poly chicken. Look at all those chickens. Work to make. Uh, that's a lot. That's, that's a lot of work. 815 beauty. How much does this thing give, then? Um... Oh, shit. That's... My God, I was looking for a small number. I thought that was the worth. 3,020. Uh, so to put that into perspective, a gold bed, the beauty given by a gold bed, is 960. Jesus. And that, bear in mind, the golden royal bed is of excellent quality. It's a golden royal bed as well, so it also gets a bonus to its beauty because it's a royal bed rather than a regular bed. That's absurd. Um, I feel like the, the best sort of endgame colony would have it, have all beta poly walls. All beta poly... Jesus, 75? My god, we might actually be, be able to build some walls around our kill box now. 
Oh, god damn it. Did you seriously... Got itself trapped in the wall and then died. I... Well, the best part about getting that Alpha and Beta Poly, it means that we don't need to waste magnetic coils building the matter fabricator before we've already built the reactor. Because that's one thing we're limited by right now. We've got enough Alpha Poly. We've got 35, I think, from that chicken statue. We've got more than enough Beta Poly. Um, now all we need is another... Oh, Jesus, we've only got 15 out of 48, even still. So, so to add to that, I've, I've increased the crafting an extra t tier on everybody. So that's one of their highest for the entire base. Basically, everybody is more or less just crafting constantly now. Even still... The production of these things takes so goddamn long. I feel like I just need someone churning out blocks here forever. I'm going to take away all of these. I'm going to say deep mine. I don't know. Whatever takes the least time. Um, I assume it takes the same rate with everything. So we just go sandstone chunks. Do forever. Honestly. And then we'll have our worst miner on that. So we're not completely flooded by it. Um, is anybody useless at... Sydney? you're pretty... Oh yeah, but you're, you're, good, at, you're good at crafting. Okay, never mind. Um... Generally, buddy, anybody who wants to use this, this drill is more than welcome to. Um, we'll turn off mining for the majority of them, because honestly, we only really want Donuts and whoever else is going to be running the secondary drill. Um, I'm trying to work out who would be the best one to give this job to. What about you, Fritties? Oh, no, you're really good at crafting, so you're definitely not getting that. Um, yeah, hang on, this is perfect. The person whose jobs I haven't even bothered to set up slightly. Oh, God, Chode Smirly came back. Shit, I forgot about Chode Smirly. Um, okay, so you actually need some more jobs being given to you again. Again, you're, you're our crafter. Um, oh, sorry, you're, you're our plant grower, so you, you're definitely in charge of that. Um, also good at building, so that can definitely be a number one priority also. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Besides that, we're, we're, looking, we're looking pretty all right. I've completely redone the work tab as well to try and sort of uh, make this as effective as possible with certain characters. Um, generally, I've allowed a lot of them to grow, even though it's... Fairly irrelevant, because Cho Smirk is basically the only guy in charge of growing right now, and is basically the only guy we want to be in charge of crafting, right? Crafting, uh, sorry, growing crops. Uh, crafting is basically the highest priority for everybody until we've got this magnetic coil dealt with. Even then, I might even leave it at that, because, you know, we're going to be doing a lot of crafting from now on. It's, it's more or less, we're moving from industry, or we're moving from uh, resource production to industry now. You know, we're, we're industrializing. This is our revolution. Um, compacted aluminium. An aluminium meteorite? That doesn't really make much sense. All right. Um, this is good though. We've, I think we've got quite a nicely, uh, a nicely, nice well-oiled machine when they're actually working. Um, this isn't really highlighting it very much, but they are, they are doing basically exactly what we kind of expect them to do right now. And that is churning out nothing but magnetic coils. Um, everybody else is basically just doing the job you'd expect. So, I think Donitz, when he's healed, when he's ready, needs to go on his, his exodus down to the south ship. Maybe we'll start tomorrow's episode with that. So that he can leave the planet and go and uh, go and try and clone Eagle through Galsware. Because clearly it was a massive failure here as well. Oh god. Yeah, okay. Never allowed Donuts to do that? Jesus. Um, <laughs> thank, god I, thank god I remembered to do that. Um, Vricko, you are the only person in charge of doing that. And obviously over time Vricko will get better at mining there. I thought that was going to end a lot worse. But that's actually fine. Thank you all for watching a sad episode today. I think we can all agree once again, Eagle Throog has been slain by friendly fire and rocket launchers, no less. When will I learn? Big shout out to all of the insane top tier level patrons making the series possible. Beat it, Timmy, Zachary Harris, Arik, Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Lol Russ, Haydog, Sidini, Paul, Necrophilon, Asuna Kirito, Facundo Vasquez, Croesus, I'm the Lizard King, Josh Lynn, Dean Teslon, Michael Mullen, Tyler Birch, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Tyler Birch, Jacob Alexander Fenton. Well, I'm apparently doing that one twice. Palvis Presley, Logan Thorne, Kaspar C, Orcs Wolf, Average Gamer 419, Escape, Zazzy 711, and Jackson Woodman. Apparently, I need to change my list. That seems a bit odd. That, that completely threw me off for a loop there. And as well to Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brandon Matonic, Euphrates, Quasar Fox, Jack Allen, Gabriel Van Der Zell, Thomas, Nathan Flores, Yon DeVries, Don Cody 27, Zet McDougall, Joseph Beard, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Will Wade, The Sage, Chris, Sir Thor, The Swede, Asaro, Nick, Fraser Brennan, Kevin Saunders, Betamus Max, The Insane Pickle, Adam Person, Eagle Kozak, Haju Dumar, Noah Gallimore, and Panther Pearl for their support on Patreon as well. Big shout out to the Twitch subscribers. Uh, we will be back soon on some Twitch stuff. I don't know what we're going to do, but it'll be something.